Now there are different types of writing task to questions. So we put them in the, those categories, different types of essays. So you may get opinion essays. You may be asked to give your opinion, agree, disagree. Do you agree with it or disagree with it? Then there may be advantage, disadvantage, like you may be asked, okay, uh, what are the advantages and disadvantages of this? For example, uh, these days the trend is to go for home tutoring. What are the advantages and disadvantages of homeschooling? So the same question, but it put in a different manner. Hmm? That's how it can come. And then there can be uh, solution essays. You can be or you, uh, where you have to provide solution for something. So here uh, there may be times when you are just asked to give reasons of something. There may be times when you are asked to provide solution for something, or it may be reason as well as solution. Like these days, uh, children have become addicted to mobile phones or to social media. What are the reasons for it? And what is the solution according to you? So you'll have to write both of them. In that. And then there are discussion essays where you're asked to discuss two sides, two opinions. And then there are direct questions essays. So questions, for example, uh, some people think or maybe some people think that the rich are happier than the poor do you think so do you think the rich are happier is money needed to be happy this way direct questions can come so different types of instructions according to the instructions we categorize them into different types of essay questions right today we are going to discuss a solution essay see the question that we have over here this is the way you get the writing task to question what do we have over here? Unemployment. Always look at the keywords. I'm sure in college you must have participated in group discussions. Have you? Atul and Fat Fatina? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Because colleges start with campus placement practice. Huh? Uh, so you must have participated in those. So when you uh, participate in a group discussion, a group discussion topic is given to you. Don't you generate content first? You're given about five to ten minutes to generate content. Now here also you must generate content. Don't just start writing immediately. So to generate content, there are different strategies. It's the same thing, which you can even apply for your group discussions too. One simple strategy is keyword approach. So you look at the keywords. So what are the keywords in this statement? Please. So what are we talking about over here? We're talking about unemployment. So this is definitely a keyword. And of course, we are not talking about just India, we are talking about the world. So look at the keywords. Now we look at the keywords in the instruction. Uh, what are the what are the causes of this problem? How can this problem be solved? Right. So what have we, we been asked in this instruction? We've been asked to give the causes and we've been asked to give solution. Clear? So yes, what should we do to generate content now? According to these keywords, we start generating content, right? So we'll, we'll have to look for causes. So what's the problem? There's unemployment in urban cities, major New York, London, yes. Paris, Montreal, Sydney, fine. Now we're talking yeah, about unemployment in all such cities. Just imagine all such cities, there is unemployment. So what are the reasons? Why do you think there is unemployment in such cities? Let's generate content. Maybe the increase in population. All right. Increase in population. Why do you think in population is increasing in such big cities? You know, something like people like us are going to that city. That's wonderful. You put yourself people like us. Hmm. So people are, so there, there's a lot of migration happening to these cities. Correct? Yes. All right. Any other reason? Okay. Lack of jobs according to qualification for example like even in india it's happening there are so many engineers correct but we don't have that many engineering jobs so that's why at times the engineers go to bpos and all such places am i right yes yes ma'am so what happens because of that many people think oh it's better not to work only and they remain unemployed yes. all right any other reasons yes. what about automation isn't this a major cause See, if we talk about okay. banks also, earlier in the banks, there used to be somebody counting the money, 
somebody is giving that clearing your checks and all now one just goes to the atm and it does that right it's something yes, doing that their companies so the companies feel the robots can do faster do the work faster and they won't have to spend much so, so because of automation human beings are not needed for those jobs the employers feel the machines can do the robots can do those works faster right okay what can be the solution for this unemployment come on now think of the solution atul that was a, indeed a good point when you said people like us are moving to so what can be done to ensure that people like you don't move people hmm. won't migrate to other countries if india is giving a better education policy quality in education okay so there won't be a chance for migration so that means there should be quality education that's a good word and uh, better job facilities in smaller towns correct yes ma'am so obviously they'll stop migrating to these people and uh, the next point was this lack of jobs according to qualification what can be the solution for this ma'am like uh, there should be a job uh, a post maintenance like uh, engineers should have particular range of jobs like something should be maintained it's so both public and uh, private yes, sectors ma must come up with more jobs according to the qualifications in the market right yes Good. yes ma'am right and can there be any solution for automation same thing if if um, we are going ahead with automation then we should also come up with more jobs different uh, jobs where skills of human beings are needed correct so governments will have to put in the efforts now how do we write okay first step should be generate you generate content take about 5 minutes to generate content you should be very clear about what you are going to write should be very clear about it after this what should you do remember what i told you there are different paragraphs so paragraph 1 we are going to will not be able to write the complete essay now but we'll write paragraph 1 now no we are going to practice that so in paragraph 1 what will you write in paragraph 1 you will just paraphrase this statement just imagine somebody says unemployment in major urban cities across the world is becoming a major problem you say the same thing in different words paraphrase use different words like across the world can be um, globally that can be used major problem serious issue use different words say the same thing it should mean the same whatever you say so one sentence should be the paraphrase of this second sentence now your answer to this what are the causes of this problem and how can this be solved so i am of the opinion or according to me start that way and give an overview so your thesis statement means in one sentence you give an overview of what you are going to include in your essay so your first paragraph should have two to three sentences not more than that that means how many words it should have about uh, 40 to 60 words 60 maybe if you are writing a bit more 65 words don't try to write a very big first paragraph huh? 70 that's it not more than that 40 to 60 is the ideal length of the first paragraph you just an example so lot of practice is needed for this let's look at one example what does it have it has first of all the paraphrase now unemployment in major urban cities across the world see now is becoming a major problem so how has this been rephrased majority of the people are unemployed so there are ways of paraphrasing one is you look for a synonym of the word now you don't get the synonym jo joblessness does not sound all that good for unemployment right you use a different form of the word this is another so there are three ways in which you can paraphrase use totally different words synonymous phrases or you use a different form of the word like noun verbs adjective that way unemployment we use the word unemployed over here use a different form of the word or you change it from active voice to passive voice uh, what is active voice to passive voice uh, i can say that uh, atul and uh, fatina are attending this class today this is active voice this class is being attended by atul and fatina today this is passive voice huh? so you can change the voice so there are 
three ways in which you can paraphrase any now majority of the people have used different words are unemployed now let's say urban cities major urban cities so that's why that's where those vocabulary notes are going to help you we're going to enhance the vocabulary too major urban cities prominent metropolitan cities so we have a paraphrase for that instead of saying across the world what do we say worldwide is becoming a major problem so and it is considered to be the most predominant concern these days so we use a paraphrase we use different words this is where practice will be needed no huh? predominant concern these days or a serious issue these days then well, that would be fine now let's so one sentence is over now let's move on to the thesis statement let's answer this in, so do you know, notice how your question comes to you you have a statement and then you have instruction ielts writing task two questions come like this way so what are the causes of this problem so the main reasons so different word for causes the main reasons for this are increasing population as you said and uh, automation of many jobs and it can be effectively addressed because a problem is addressed huh? or solved you could have used, but then solved word is used over here also solution an effective solution for this can be or otherwise it can be effectively addressed if proper steps are taken by the governments of different countries but you said like by the private sector so even that can come by both public and private sectors so instead of writing the governments of different countries could have written uh, both private and public sectors so we just put that over here so that gives us the thesis statement now this is a cause and solution kind of an essay so in the next paragraph we write the causes after that we write the solution and then you conclude so this kind of essay will have four paragraphs 